Hello and welcome back. I've got a mailbag for you today. Let's take a look at this. This is Hobby Components. It's not deliberate, but I've bought a few things off them. I remember now. This is a bunch of gold-plated turn pin headers. So these are what I use to connect the modules on my CPU to the back plane. So I need good quality ones and I've been running low. That's handy. Okay, so these are £3.49 for five strips of 40 pins. Although I think what I've got here is three packets of it. In the early days of the CPU build, I bought some cheaper ones of these and had a few problems with them. So I don't regret getting these ones. Not had any problems with them. I'll put a link in the description. Ah. Okay, this is interesting. Now what this is, is a breakout box for VGA. So you've got a 15 pin high density deconnector, and then you've got a breakout for all the various wires you need. Now I ordered this a while ago for the VGA display project I'm planning on, but I've actually made different plans. A little while ago, I made up this cable so it was an old VGA cable, I cut it in two and then wired a DuPont connector in. So that gives me red, green, blue and the ground signals and the sync signals. But you can see how uh, I was thinking this would uh, do basically the same job. Okay, so this is priced at 5 59 although I think I paid a bit less than that, £4 something. Out of stock though, there are plenty of similar items on eBay if uh, this stays out of stock. I may have a use for that at some point anyway. Oh, this is cool. So this is a tiny little LCD display. But the reason why I bought this one is it's SPI. And I've been thinking about um, building a circuit for interfacing to SPI for my homebrew CPU. And so I've uh, kind of been making a list of all the little gadgets I can get that will talk SPI that I can use for testing it. This actually has a SD card slot on the back. Might be handy. Okay, so this is £6.60. It's 128 by 160, which implies it's actually designed to be used vertically. I'll be interested to see how the pixels are indexed. I think you can get pretty much identical modules for quite a bit less if you're prepared to wait for long distance shipping though. Slightly bent pin, but that's not a big deal. You might see that in a future video. I think I know what this one is. You can never be 100% sure. So this is a pair of oscilloscope probes. They're not as good as the ones that came with my Siglent, not by the specs anyway. I wanted to do some experimentation with um, scope probes, possibly even uh, chopping the ends off and, and using the cables. Because I tried buying some coax cable, but it's just not as good and flexible as these. But I want to do some experiments with trying to create a scope probe that will have a DuPont cable on the end that I can plug directly into a circuit. To, uh, to get a very short connection between the ground and the signal. So this was just over £10 for a pair of oscilloscope probes, which seemed very cheap to me, but it will give me an opportunity to do some experimentation without risking my nice ones from Siglent. First thing I'm gonna try doing is replacing these crocodile clips with just a simple DuPont cable. So you often see me just kind of clipping onto a short DuPont cable, but that's just adding more loop to the, the wire to uh, degrade the signal. But um, I've got a circuit diagram for what's allegedly inside scope probes like these. So I'm gonna try chopping one of these down and creating a scope probe that is just a simple DuPont cable with a couple of components. I'll let you know how it goes. Maybe make a video if people are interested. Hobby components again but I've got no idea what this is. Right, so this is an MCP23017. It's um, a I2C port expander. 
and I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with this now but I'll probably get around to using it at some point but I had an idea a little while ago and I ordered this and the reason why I forgot it is because I moved on to a different plan so uh, yeah I'll stick that in the chip supply and I'll probably find a use for it one day so this parcel has come all the way from somewhere in Russia I think and I've been looking forward to getting this so it's ferrite memory plate Right, now some people will recognise this as a piece of magnetic core memory. I've been wanting to get hold of a piece of this for a long time. Right, let's get the microscope out and take a look. Now this was a memory technology used before silicon chips were dense enough to make it cost effective. It's the individual ferrite beads you see here are one bit of memory and you've got a fairly complicated arrangement between the horizontal and vertical bits of wire which between them form an electromagnet that's designed to flip the the bits inside the stored inside the ferrite beads and then separate from the horizontal and vertical arrays you'll see this long winding wire that works its way around all of them and that's called the sense wire and that's used to detect when the state changes in a bead. This is a great little piece of history. Now what I'm hoping to do with this is actually build a circuit to give it a proper test and get it working. Now before anyone uh, misinterprets that, I'm not planning on interfacing it to my homebrew CPU. I think this is, uh, is going to be a little bit of a standalone project. But the first thing I'll do is design a PCB that connects to these terminals and gives me something simpler like a DuPont header that will give me easy connection. Looks like these are designed to go either side of something. I'll have to take lots of measurements and work it out. I'm extremely pleased to have this. I paid just under £50 for it. I've seen a bunch of these advertised before, but some of them are not in the best of conditions. And this seller provided some excellent pictures, which allow me to work out roughly what the configuration was on this device. So I'm reasonably confident I can make it work. He's only got five left though, so uh, the link in the description might not be valid for very long. Okay, kind of an odd mix of stuff there, but uh, there's a couple of things here I'm really pleased to have, and uh, I hope you found it interesting, and I'll, uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Goodbye.